There are swords. It looks a long way away. I'm putting away the camera. How's it going? It's going. Ready for Kendall? I am. Oh yeah. Daywa's here. We're ready to roll. Nice. Are you ready for Hard Rock? I hope so. <laughs> I did a five hour run yesterday, which is my only run at altitude. I saw, yeah. Up here? Yeah. Kendall, yeah. I went up Kendall, yeah. And your brother's doing it too? He's doing it too. Now is that the first time you guys have both been in the, in the same No, we yeah. ran it, we were both in it in 2013 and okay. 2017. Nice. Cool. How blessed are we? Great. Amazing. Thanks for bringing what you do to the sport. Of course. Nama. Good morning. Going? How's it going? Good to see you again. How's the turnout? Oh, pretty good. Yeah. Another good year. We're blessed. That was sixth place overall coming down. I'm at an hour 23, still going up. But we're at Timberline. You can see the sun. Stuffing along here with my friend. Who's your name? What's your name? Chad. How many candles have you done, Chad? This is my first one. Oh, congratulations. Where are you from? Uh, both in Montana. Oh, beautiful country. Why this? Uh, it's kind of my last training run for Speed Goat. Oh, good job. All right. Yeah. Enjoy. My first lady just passed me. One hour, 33. Here comes second lady. Give them the good track. Second lady, you're about a minute behind her. Hurts so bad. I'm trying to get in that 
second aid station and then the scramble of the summit. I try to summit nowadays in the same time it used to take me to run up and down. It's like getting old is interesting. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks you guys for coming out. You're welcome. Right at the top of this hill coming up. One fifty. There are swords. It looks a long way away. Okay, I'm putting away the camera. When the masseuse receives a masada. Thank you, Sandra.
it's been 24 hours since we finished Kendall Mountain. Yes. How's the body feeling? <sighs> body feeling surprisingly okay as of right now. Glutes are a little sore, upper legs are a little sore, and my calves hurt me last night, but they feel pretty good today. I mean, mentally right now, I'm really happy. I mean, look at this beautiful place that we're at, and yeah, just feeling very blessed to have been able to run Kindle yesterday. Uh, Hoka Tecton X? Yes. How did they perform? So the shoe performed really well for me, at least. They felt slightly boaty on the downhill a little bit, but um, besides that, they performed really well. On the uphill, they were great. No back slippage, really. I mean, towards the summit scramble for Kendall, they were back sliding a little bit, but unless you have like eight millimeter look depth, I think most shoes are going to do that. Kind of on the downhill, I think. Like, I didn't feel my joints nearly as much as last year. Did, uh, were you happy with your summit time? What was your summit time? Summit time was 137. 138. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wanted to be under 145 for the summit time. So yeah, that was definitely pretty far under my goal time. All right, tell us about the downhill. It's all about the downhill. All about the downhill. Yeah, downhill went really well for me. Um, I descended in, I think, close to 40 minutes or something. So <sighs> yeah, that was partially because of the shoes, obviously. But yeah, I think if you can just get out of your hips on the downhill and not fall, then you're pretty much good to go. What makes running 12 minute miles on Kendall different? Um, cause Kendall's different. Um, it's a full on 13er. I think it's like 13.6 or something. He'll probably put the elevation on the screen somewhere. Yeah, it's a mountain. It's not just a flat road. Um, there's slight sections in Kendall where it flattens out where you can get down to that like 9.30 pace, but a lot of it's just grind. Uh, in a nutshell, like, why should people get Kendall on their on their bucket list? Well, it's a hard race, and you obviously feel accomplished just finishing it. But also, it's great training for anything else you're going to do, because it gives you friggin', I don't know, like, almost two hours of uphill into, like, an hour of downhill training. And it has everything in between. It has a little bit of flat, uphill, downhill, technical stuff, not so technical stuff. And I think it's a really great mountain even for beginners, just to, just, even if you're just going to hike it, just, if it's good weather, get out there, do it. You know, it's great training and minimal exposure, except for some little parts towards the summit. And it's really beautiful. So Final question. It. We've got national trail championships for the high schools coming up in two weeks. How do you feel like you're going to be able to recover from this? Why was this part of the training plan? And, uh, what, you know, what arrows in your quiver did Kendall put in for nationals? Wow, that's a hearty question. First of all, I think I will be able to recover. I think in a couple of days I'll be fine for sure running pretty solidly again. You know, Kendall takes it out of you for like 48 hours probably, I'd say. Um, yeah, but I think it came actually at the perfect time before Nats. I think it's our final like really big hard workout and then we start a slow taper off to the race. So I think it came at a perfect time. It's giving me a lot of kind of confidence going like at the ascent of nationals just because it's a few feet of ascending but nothing like Kendall and the descent just getting open out on the hips because Nats does have a little bit of technical descending so I think that Kendall's really helped with that and yeah I mean it's just it's such a mental game like all of running and knowing that you've done Kendall and that you've dropped your time by 20 minutes since last year and not even specifically training for that race I think that's really going to come into handy you know, topping out at the peak elevation of Nats and starting to descend again, being like, you know, I can do this. I did Kendall again. And yeah, I totally got this. Good luck. Thank you. Congrats. You so, Steve Ilg. <laughs> so, how long has it been since we ran Kindle Mountain? Uh, 24 hours, maybe a little more, not much more. Yeah, so I heard you did pretty good, and you got on the podium of your age group, is that correct? I certainly did, and I went sub four, I went sub three, that was my goal, and I got it by 40 seconds. I like drama, I guess. Wow, Did totally. not look at my watch anywhere, down, anywhere, at any point during the race. I was in this kind of epic go back and forth, got with another guy in my age group. Um, yeah, that kept me very motivated. But I have to say the Hoka 
between the Hoka and the trail work, I've been doing so much trail work, not much running. Um, it gave me the endurance. The Hoka's really saved my back injury. I really feel when I hit that final half mile back to Memorial Park to the finish, usually I'm absolutely dismantled. The wheels have already come off. I've had a yoga squat a lot to prevent my lower back pain. None of that this year. Saved a boatload of minutes because of that. And uh, it actually gives me confidence that I can go faster next year. We're not, we didn't specifically train for this race. So um, really, really stoked. You said you dropped your minutes by, your time by like 10 minutes. Is yeah, that I true? Yeah, I think more, yeah. Wow, very impressive. Well, awesome job. And yeah, we will see you soon. Namah. Namah.